questions. It's the whole chapter of what color are you in the book. And it lists all the characteristics. And then those charts we just had a moment ago. But if a patient comes in to the office and, they, and I, I'll always ask them, did you have growing pains when you were a child? If they say yes, it's probably 95% of the time they're a blue person. They're the, they seem to be the ones who get the growing pains. Other colors can get growing pains, but they have, would have had other significant problems that then caused the calcium imbalance, but it wasn't related to being a blue. It's because they had asthma or they were premature or they had some other ex condition. If they, if, they were all, if they were healthy, normal child, but they had growing pains, probably a blue person. Healthy, normal child with rashes and skin issues all the time, almost always a green person. So those are, those are big things to know. Reds, you don't really see um, any childhood issues with red people unless they know they just didn't do well with wheat. But a, a note about the food. The food is not an allergy. The food is in a glutination reaction. Allergies speed up the immune system, make things aggressive happen. That's what makes us itchy, runny nose, watery eyes, that sort of stuff. Um, those are allergies. A glutination reaction slow things down, make them sluggish, and steal nutrients away from us. Uh, so somebody can go to the doctor. I tell them, you're a blue person, don't have dairy products. And then go to the, to the allergist and get skin testing done or an ELISA test or something like that. It says, no, you don't have any reaction to dairy. It's a totally different process. If they avoid dairy, they feel a whole lot better. In my own case, I happen to be blue in both eyes, so dairy is never good for me. And when I was growing up, I loved cereal. And I ate lots of dairy products. I drank lots of milk. And I had very bad joints. My joints still pop very easily. It doesn't take anything for me to pop my joints and make them pop. But I could never bend down and do a squat with my knees because they hurt so bad as a kid. I remember being 11 years old not wanting to play catcher in baseball because of it. you had to stay squatted down to catch the ball. And my knees hurt very bad after just a few minutes. Then when I learned all about the blues and avoiding dairy and so forth, I stopped it. And it took about nine months of no dairy for me to where my joints didn't hurt anymore. And now I squat down, I can do all of that just fine. So you can heal, you'll recover from it. Your patients will recover from it. But if they continue to do it, there will be signs by their body that it's unhappy. For me, it's joints and right lower back pain. For other blues, it could be other issues. And for everybody has their own issues that they get. But they will have signs by their body that they are they're pushing themselves too far with their chemicals, their wheat, or their dairy because of their color. And, and that's a wonderful thing you teach them, is you teach them to be aware of your body, be aware of what it's telling you when you overindulge in some things that you shouldn't have, and then you'll know when to back off. Be your own doctor is what we want to teach our, teach our patients. Leilani, did you have a question? Yeah, what are growing pains? Growing pains are, the, are what uh, kids complain of in their lower legs and shins, and that their legs just ache. Uh, and mom has to sit there and rub their legs to get them to calm down and go to sleep. And they, they call them growing pains because it usually happens with growth spurts. But what happens with a growth spurt, your demand for calcium shoots through the roof so that you can build proper bones. If you're not utilizing calcium properly as a dairy person, as a blue person who shouldn't have dairy, and they're consuming dairy products at the same time, then their body is in, is in a crisis situation. It has calcium all around it in the bloodstream, but it can't use that calcium. And so that's the body's way of screaming out that I need help here with my bones. I mean, the symptom is coming directly from the source of the problem, right? And it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing if you know that about any children because you'll, you'll, the parents will think you walk on water. You say, no dairy products for two weeks, and I guarantee your child will have no growing pains. And they don't believe you, you know, well, your milk does the body good and all that sort of stuff. And they do it, and the kid has no growing pains. Not only that, they sleep better through the night, and they're not waking up throughout the night, and all these other things that are associated with poor calcium regulation. And uh, it's a very simple fix. But imagine if all the parents in the world knew what color their children were and just modified their diet based on that. That's, that's about all I do with my kids these days. They get adjustments once in a while. They take oils at night. And uh, I have blue kids that aren't allowed to have dairy. I have wheat kids that can't have much wheat. And I have chemically sensitive kids that can't eat any you know, the chemical stuff. Because so I have five daughters. I have a little bit of everything. And if we just manage those simple things, and they all know it. The three-year-old says, oh, I can't have dairy. <laughs> <laughs> I 
they, they learn. I mean, think, think about how many light years they are ahead of their peers and how well they'll be able to manage themselves through their lives physically just by knowing a few simple basic things about what they should eat and what they shouldn't eat and what a nutrient they should take and not take. So there's only three colors and uh, I've never seen colors change except in, ex in one extreme circumstance so far where uh, somebody got really sick and the colors seemed to actually change in their eyes. So it seems to be consistent um, except under other circumstances. Some, you always want to make sure you test your colors in the same environment. Lights matter and where, how you test folks matter. Um, I've, I used to test folks in my old office it was a darker lit place and uh, I think I got some false positives there. So the place I'm in now uh, is windows all around on two sides and the natural light really helps the testing of the colors. It's just make sure you get a more accurate read. And in here we should be pretty good. Should be pretty good. Yes? Uh, does it matter if the person keeps their eyes open or closed when testing the colors? Yeah, fascinating thing about the colors is because your body's electromagnetic and sense all those things, it actually doesn't matter. I've, tr I've tested it on a, a, I don't know what the official term is, but a person who was blind because they had no eyes. They were born, she was born, she had cancer in her eyes and actually had them surgically removed. And I've done the color testing on her and it worked exactly like if she had her eyes. Yeah, so the body can pick up colors because it's electromagnetic frequency. It, it goes right in. Yeah, it's fascinating. Question, Lynn? Well, not really a question, but just anecdotal um, information. I'm glued to the T, yeah. and I have uh, had an MRI on my ankle, and I have a prescription for, for surgery, yes. which I don't intend to use because, I mean, it was so sensitive. If I had an ankle strap on, I couldn't really enjoy walking in that shoe. And I've only been at this maybe two months, and I didn't think about it. No. That's great. So what she's saying is her whole ankle got better, her whole joint of her ankle has gotten better just from modifying, taking dairy out of her life, and taking an appropriate calcium. Aren't you on a specific calcium? That's right. So you, the blue people need calcium, but they need a kind they can absorb. That's the big piece. And that's another reason why certain supplements won't work, because Somebody may be calcium deficient. You know they're calcium deficient, but if you give them calcium citrate or something they can't absorb, then that's useless to them and may in fact make things worse. Whereas growing pains, people tend to like calcium phosphate. Phosphorus has a lot to do with the bones. And soft teeth people tend to like a calcium fluoride, the natural fluoride, not the synthetic version. Uh, so things like that. But once you fill in that hole, once you find that deficiency and correct it, and you've given the body what it needs, all of a sudden it can use the old other calcium. Now it can actually utilize the calcium citrate or the basic calcium that's out there. So there, it get the more, the bigger the problem, the longer it's been there, the more specific the remedy. But once a certain amount of healing has taken place, more general remedies work. That's why multivitamins work for healthy people. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions on all that? Yes, Sheila. What if blue is your secondary color? Do you still want to pay attention? It's in your non dominant Yeah, what if blue is in your right eye and it's not your left eye primary color? I used to. It doesn't, I used to deal with that. Uh, whatever color showed up over both eyes is what I used to deal with until just the left eye color showed up over both eyes. Um, but now I jump right to the left eye color. I just start treating people like what they really are in their left eye. Um, and it seems to, and therapy, the, the time of healing seems to be the same or just as good or better. So I don't worry about really their right eye color much at all. But the more tired they are, the more sick they are, let's, uh, then you might address their, like, so let's, let's, somebody's blue in their right eye, let's say, and green in their left. You treat them like a green people all the time, a green person all the time. But if they get really sick and run down, they'll be in a low gear. Their body will be low energy, low functioning, and they will act mostly like a blue person. So when they get really sick, what I tell people is whatever that color is in your right eye, you don't have to worry about it much unless you're tired. So in your case, if you have blue in your right eye and you get tired, make sure there's no dairy in your life. Treat yourself like a blue person at the same time. Treat yourself like a double color. So avoid dairy and chemicals. Or if you're red and blue, you avoid wheat and dairy. Right? 
and uh, just get those two big pieces out of your diet, out of your life while you're trying to heal from whatever sickness you're going through.